one thing that, that sort of separates Judaism from other faith groups is that Judaism does not proselytize. Many other faith groups believe it's our way or the highway. You know, we are the key, the key element. We are the only way to God. Everyone else is wrong and damned. But Judaism does not proselytize. And the reason that we don't proselytize is that we believe that not only Jews have a place and a purpose in this world, but everybody in the entire, the entire human family has a place in this world, has a key role to play in perfecting the world. Jews have to do it through Torah, through our 613 mitzvahs, our commandments. And non-Jews have seven specific commandments that were given to Noah after the flood, and all of humanity is a descendant of Noah, that were given to Noah after the flood. And if they uphold those seven laws, God says, thumbs up, great job. You've done your purpose, and you will have a share in the world to come. So there's no need for Jews to go out and proselytize and say, be like us, you have to be like us. We are the only way. Instead, we can say, if you follow your seven laws, if you follow those seven, those seven key codes in, in, in living an upstanding moral life, God is perfectly happy with you, and we love you. What are those seven laws? Number one is to believe in God, not to worship idols. Number two is not to curse God. Number three is to not murder. Four is not to steal. Five is uh, not to commit certain uh, illicit relationships. Six is not to be cruel to animals and eat the limb of a living animal. And seven is to uphold, uh, make courts of justice that will uphold the other six. So meaning when, when an issue comes up, to vote for those things and, and support, make court systems that enforce the other six laws. And any of the non-Jewish nations that accept those laws, or any person who's not of the Jewish faith who accepts those laws and does them because this is what God wants for me in the world, has a place in the world to come, is considered as fulfilling their purpose and doing what they need to do, and uh, we love them, God loves them, no need to proselytize anybody. The prophet Isaiah refers to the Jewish people as a light to the nations. He says over here, Nations shall walk in your light and kings in your shining brilliance. This is Isaiah. It's in the Mitzudas David comments on this verse. He says, They will learn God's ways from you and you will enlighten them. You know, a lot of times when we talk about Jewish pride, we, we, we associate it with things that really maybe shouldn't be Jewish pride. We, we get Jewish pride when there's a, an actor or a politician who's Jewish or a sports player who's Jewish. Like, wow, Jewish pride! But I think perhaps Jewish pride is more, more effectively and more truly shown in being proud of being part of God's light unto the nations, being a special part of this priestly people who are the disseminators of light around the world. It's said in the name of the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the Hasidic movement, that when the Noahide laws were given to the nations of the world, that the Jewish people agreed to become mentors for the rest of the world, meaning that we would shine, we would shine light, we'd be a good influence, and we would encourage everybody to be moral people and help us and help serve God all together in one unity, one united voice. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, one of the, uh, a, a key Hasidic Rebbe, in his Sefer Hamidah, says that when the Jewish people don't make godliness known to the nations of the world, when we're not spreading our light, this creates a vacuum. You know, the world is supposed to be filled with light, and we are supposed to be the disseminators of light. And when we don't fill the world with light, there's a vacuum created and room for other ideologies and philosophies to make their way sweeping across the globe. As a result, the nations introduce, uh, introduce many ideologies that are contrary to Torah and contrary to, to light oftentimes. So by us shining light, by us being living examples of what Torah represents, of what Judaism represents, the rest of the world will follow suit and be influenced by that as well.